Hello friends, in previous lecture we discuss the aldol condensation and aldol reaction. In aldol condensation is nothing but the, there is condensation between aldehyde and ketone and the requirement is that it requires the alpha hydrogen atom and overall reaction take place in presence of base and in aldol reaction it is again the reaction between aldehyde and ketone we require alpha hydrogen atom the reaction take place in presence of base here the two new stereogenic center are formed and here we get the carbon carbon bond formation reaction this is the characteristics of aldol reaction up to this we cover in previous lecture in today's lecture we will start the remaining part of asymmetric synthesis that is asymmetric aldol reaction the aldol reaction can be stereoselective here the reaction take place in enolate with an aldehyde or ketone here the first the base it abstract this proton is more acidic proton and here we get the enolate ion now then this enolate ion it reacts with ketone and we get the this is alpha beta we get the beta hydroxy ketone here one new stereogenic center no diastereoselectivity involved that means here formations of new stereogenic center the only one new stereogenic center is created so there is a no question of diastereoselectivity here only one stereogenic center is formed therefore there is a no question of diastereoselectivity but with substituted enolate that means if we get the two new stereogenic center are created then we need to able to predict the which diastereomer will be formed and here is an example of diastereoselective aldol reaction and we did not the consider the stereochemistry at uh, at that stage but we can now reveal that the syn diastereomer is the major product of the reaction. If we take one example here, the LDA at minus 78 degrees Celsius in presence of THF, it abstracts this more acidic proton, and here we get the enolate. And this is the enolate bears the, the methyl group methyl substituents. That means this is a if we see. Uh, the stereochemistry of this olefin or alkene here 1 2 1 2 okay this is one number this is two number this is a one number this is two number this is one one on same side therefore this is z and this on treatment with aldehyde here this enolate it will be goes here okay it become carbonyl and this double bond attack on aldehyde and here we get the two different product that means one is syn syn that means both the hydroxyl group and methyl groups are same side therefore syn and here anti that means one front and one back that means the anti aldol this is syn aldol and this is anti aldol up top this syn aldol and anti aldol the major product is the syn aldol why this is major product because here the cis enolate that's why the syn aldol is the major product so friend, we have to remember that where we use the diastereoselectivity or the stereoselective. If we get the more than one stereogenic center at that time, there is question of diastereoselectivity. And the important point about the substituted enolate is that they can exist as two geometrical isomers. That means the cis or the trans and which enolate is formed is an important factor controlling the diastereoselectivity because in turn over that in many examples of the aldol reaction the cis enolate gives syn aldol this is the most important step cis enolate gives the syn aldol preferentially and trans enolate gives anti aldol preferentially that means we have to remember that from cis enolate we get the syn aldol and from trans enolate we get the anti aldol now the next 
Diastereoselectivity in aldol reaction. Then we discuss the diastereoselectivity in aldol reaction. In previous slide, we discussed if there is two, stere two stereogenic centers are formed. That means the such a reaction is a diastereoselective reaction. And here we take examples of aldol reaction. That means diastereoselective in aldol reaction. Generally. But certainly not always in aldol reaction. Here, the C cinolate, that means the C, this is C cinolate on treatment with aldehyde, we get the C aldol, and from trans cinolate, we get the anti aldol. This is the most important key point about the diastereoselective in aldol reaction. That's why this aldol reaction is a diastereoselective diastereoselective because from c cinolate we get the cinaldol and from trans cinolate we get the antialdol. Let us start by showing the name uh, some examples of the demonstrating how we know this to be uh, the case. Some enolates can exist only as the trans cinolate because they are derived from the cyclic ketones. And this enolate, for example, is reacts with the aldehyde to give only the anti-aldol product. That means here, this is cyclopentanone for treatment with LDA. If we abstract this proton and here we get the enolate. Here, the only trans enolate can form. Here only because this compound is cyclic, therefore they form only trans enolate. And this trans enolate is on react with the aldehyde here we get the anti aldol due to cyclic form here only the trans enolate and from according to the diastereoselective aldol reaction from trans enolate we get the anti aldol and if we choose the group x next to the carbonyl to be large that means this case adjacent to this carbonyl this group is large at that time uh, we can be sure of the getting the, the just the cis enolate. So, for example, the lithium enolate uh, of this tertiary butyl ketone, that means this one tertiary butyl ketone forms the just as one geometrical isomer and reacts with the aldol to give only the syn aldol product. That means here, this is the case, that means this is tertiary butyl ketone react with here LDA to abstract this more acidic proton and here we get the enolate ion. This is 1 and this is 2. Here 1, here again 2. That means we get the C enolate. Keeps the methyl and tertiary butyl groups are apart. Here the methyl and the tertiary butyl groups are the apart. And this reacts with the aldehyde and here we get the aldol. That means from the C enolates we get the Thin aldol. Okay. Now, in aldol reaction, has the chair like transition state. That means here, here, this one here. Okay. Chair like this lithium enolate, this bond here, carbonyl, to be attack on this aldehyde, and here to become O minus, it will attack this lithium. And here, one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we get the 6 member cyclic transition states are formed and these are the experimental facts. How can we explain them? The LOL reaction are the another class of stereoselective process with cyclic transition state. During the reaction, the lithium is transferred from the inolate oxygen to oxygen of the carbon electrophile. And this is represented in the margin, both in curly arrow, the terms and as a transition state structure, a six-membered ring is involved and we can expect this ring to adopt more or the less in shear. Let me, this is a simple six-member cyclic transition state. Now, the easiest way is to draw the first to draw the cheer and then convert the atoms of oxygen and lithium to as necessary. Here it is, let me this one here. Here X, here carbon, here oxygen 
and here methyl and here hydrogen okay now the inulet has no choice over the orientation that means the methyl it must be the pseudo equatorial okay now the aldehyde choose the reacts with the r that means it is pseudo equatorial and this is pseudo equatorial and it is favored conformations okay this is for the trans inulet now then this for trans inulet here the r group is not equatorial here it is axial position here x here the this is x and this r okay and here r is pseudo axial it is a disfavored conformation it having some steric entrance therefore this this, this representation is correct for, for the trans inulet now in drawing their chair uh, we have a one choice uh, do we allow the aldehyde to place r equatorial or axial that means here two choice the r group that is equatorial or the axial both are possible but as you should now expect there are a fewer steric interaction if r is equatorial that means this situation if r is equatorial note that the inolate does not have the luxury of choice and if it is have three atoms in six member ring as it must or it can be do nothing but place the methyl group pseudo equatorial this is most important here the methyl group is pseudo equatorial position and the aldol form from the favored transition state structure with r group is pseudo equatorial is shown below let me this one shown below the first conformation of the transition state and then the flatten out on the page it is anti that means here this methyl group is equatorial and this r group is also equatorial and if we draw redraw this structure here we we'll get this one x c double bond o here methyl hydrogen here r o l i again we redraw and finally here we get the anti aldol that means here x c double bond o here methyl group is above the plane that's why here mention methyl is above now then r group is below the plane so the r group is in the plane while this oh group is below the plane and here we get the anti aldol that means from trans inulate we get the anti aldol now then for cis inulate we can do the same for the cis inulate the inulate has no choice but to put its methyl substituent pseudo axial or but the aldehyde can choose either pseudo equatorial or the pseudo axial again the pseudo equatorial is better and the reaction gives the product shown the sin aldol that means here for cis inulate here the inulate has no choice over the orientation that is the methyl it must at pseudo axial position and the aldehyde choose to the reacts with r group it is pseudo equatorial and here this is a, this for the cis inulate and this is a favored conformations here the r group is equatorial and x group is axial that means these are away from each other therefore this is a pseudo equatorial it is favored conformation and for this is a r group that means this is a disfavored because here the x and this r group both are axial it having some steric interaction therefore this is a disfavored conformation and for a cis inulate here the methyl group is at the axial position while the r group is at the equatorial if we redraw this is x c double bond o here hydrogen here methyl here r and here h here o l i and here again redraw this structure and here finally we we'll get the x c double bond o and here methyl and here oh okay here the methyl group is below the plane therefore this is back side and this is oh is also below the plane therefore back side we get the cinaldol that means we conclude that from c cinolate we get the cinaldol and from trans cinolate we get the 
एंटी अल्डॉल दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट और दिस इज की स्टेप सो फ्रेंड नेवर मिस ए वीडियो सब्सक्राइब टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ओके थैंक यू